Such a dick is so wrong. Uh, hello, everybody. Yeah. Welcome back to Shenanigans. What an interesting way to come back. Yeah, why uh, didn't you say that live? It could have been a quote. Cool... Yeah, that, that could have been great. Uh, chat, you missed you missed some good. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. Good Neil quote there. Um, anywho, you guys are on your way to the East Docks. Sylvesterus, are you gonna stay in your taxidermy suit? Yeah, he's our entry. <laughs> Matt? <laughs> Sounds like you are. All right. Sylvesterus was going to suggest they put the guy they had captured in there, but unfortunately they'd already started going in the busy streets, so that was going to be a bit hard. A little bit. They could yeah. call him, though. The prisoner. They could. They could. Uh, so you're attracting a lot of attention, as I said, through the streets. A lot of attention. Mm -hmm. uh, many eyes are upon you. What is the plan? Are you just going to walk to the East Docks and figure it out when you get there? Or do you have a plan that you're figuring out ahead of time? I mean, he's, he's going to lead us there, right? <laughs> I think we put him in a collar. <laughs> yeah, he likes that. Put him, throw him in the ring. Again, see how he likes that. It'll be a blast. So what are you guys going to do? That that's what I throw out to the party. I mean, I'm following. I'm following Doreen, and I'm pretty sure she's just kind of like in a rage, walking toward oh, yeah. Doc. So she's gonna give. I will give like a little bit of distance, but. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. I mean, Dor Doreen's just barreling towards the place. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, you get towards the docks, attracting all the attention of every possible passerby. Perfect. Uh, this person is screaming the whole time Put me down, put me down. I don't want to be a part of this. Please, please, I'll tell you anything. Just put me down. Of course, it's not working. Uh, and you get to the docks where he said this thing was. Mm -hmm. And, um... I'm like, all right, just quickly tell us where to go. Okay, okay. You go past the bar, and then there's a hatch, and it's underneath a, a barrel, a big barrel. It's more of a, a chest, and, um, it goes down through the water into an underground underwater lair. And that's where the that's that's where we do it. An that's underground where... underwater lair. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. So like, I'll start playing with the collar, start putting it around him. How the hell like, do you get cool. dogs through there? We just carry them. All right, cool. So then, just like those dogs you carry through, we'll carry through you and <laughs> carry you through, and we'll throw you in the ring. Don't worry, we're betting against the other guy. You you know that if you the, there's a lot of dogs down there you you try and bust that place up there they're gonna sick all the dogs on you you know it's, it's not so gonna, you can't just walk down in there confident and enough in their control over these wild dogs that the, the dogs that are being thrown in these rings are sane enough that they're not gonna attack the first thing that moves well no that's that's <laughs> why we've got gnarls barkley gnarls barkley mm-hmm he he casts the the um the the, the spells that that get the dogs to fight each other. Oh, what does so he look like? like? Uh, he's just a, a rather short man, broad chin. Um, you well, know, then, if you don't want to end up being ears. a human shield, you're gonna point him out to us right away. He, he's the only gnome you'll find down there. <laughs> Mm, why he's gonna die <laughs> i say that is in all reality i'm probably just gonna run away screaming it's gonna be great okay we can we find this hatch at least sure uh as you're looking for the hatch though the town sheriff mr muscles comes over with a few of his uh, loyal town guards. You guys have been causing quite the commotion. Oh, yeah. You've been dragging a screaming person through the town. As, of... as soon as I as soon as I see him, I'm like, "Oh, hey, we're just uh, busting up a dog fighting ring." Uh, 
you gotta put that person down. Oh, we will when we get there, don't worry. As soon as he shows yeah, me where yeah, the yeah, ring yeah. is. You can't just kidnap people. Oh, we didn't kidnap him. Remember when I put that guy in jail for you for kidnapping your friend? I got it. And then he got out and well, took my dog. That sounds unfortunate. Do we need him? I don't. I, as soon as he can go, as soon as I find out where they yeah, are, we at the places. docks. You're at the docks. Are you just have to water? find the place. Sylvestrius so will put his hand up and say, uh, well, technically we're taking What the hell are you? He interrupts. <laughs> He's weird. Thing. Don't worry about him. What is this thing? Don't don't worry about him. I, we like, were elf. trying to bait out the dog catchers. Is it so dead? We, is it a we, zombie wolf man? No, no, no. I just taxed or made some furs onto it. I think it's a zombie werewolf, guys. We should be it's careful. A oh, it's a costume. I just walk up and like flap the head backwards. <laughs> so oh my god, they ripped off his head and there's another one! <laughs> Retreat, man! We gotta go get more people. Oh, Jesus. And the, the, the town sheriff and the soldiers fall back. You hear one of them saying something about hiring people from shenanigans to help with this problem. Uh... Um, but you know that'll take them a few minutes to go down there and get someone and come back and, you know. You've got maybe half an hour before they return. Um, before they return, I'll like wisp I'll like uh, whisper to everyone's like, "Hey, I bet we can use that against the dog ring. It's gonna work out great, guys." Mm -hmm. They're uh, trying to breed these uh, zombie werewolves with two heads. So mm -hmm. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. We can totally pull it off. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. I guess you should probably take that thing off now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, look for you this. I'm find this uh, sure, you guys make your way down to the docks, uh, and you find the hatch behind the bar. I can't remember the bar's name. Does anyone remember the bar's name? Nope. Shit. The, the Which one, though? Bar? Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the lesbian, lesbian bar. bar. <laughs> I'm not sure. Like that's, yeah. that's what I remember it as is the lesbian bar. I know, but it had a name. It had a clever name. Mm -hmm. I Neil, Rob I've got a name that though. I want to call it, but you probably won't like it, so I won't say it. <laughs> okay. Wise um, Port home. <laughs> I don't remember. Nah. Chat, it's over to you. Does chat remember the name of this bar? Probably I want not. to write it down somewhere. I might okay. temporarily it, it, call it the butcher shop. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Maybe just the butchers? <laughs> no. Something like that. I can't remember the name of that. I'll ask Rob at some point. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, where were we? Right, you find the hatch behind the bar. Uh, sure enough, it just looks like an old chest, but it, it flips open and reveals a ladder that goes down what should go down into the water, but it appears that there is some sort of like part water effect going on here because the ladder just goes straight down uh, into what looks to be another hatch down below. This one's a uh, more mm -hmm. square or less rectangular, um, but it's got like a nice heavy handle on it. And uh, below that hatch, which is below the water, is uh, supposedly the dog fighting ring. Well, who's going first? Doreen. Okay. And what about I, this guy? I, I look at the captive. Oh, yeah. Just, just I know, he's got the collar on. Maybe he'll, uh, maybe we'll get a chance to fight him anyway. Hmm. Should it be you better hope that it's magic isn't through the collar and uh, not to the actual dogs itself, buddy. Okay. Eh? 
Does he have any response to that, or does he keep whimpering? Um, he's kind of just gone silent and in shock. He's just kind of like, he's got that thousand yard stare of just like, this is my life. What has happened to me? Perfect. Should we put the costume on him and just like, you know, leave him here for the guards to find? Ooh. Yeah, let's put the costume on him. Okay, let's do that. He's about my height as well, so... Yes, he is. <laughs> That's true. It'll fit. <laughs> Alright, so I think we... One way or another, we get this on him and um, I guess we just tie him up and leave him there. Let's just, we're desperately trying to find some water to wash himself off. Wait, <laughs> There's water on the way, <laughs> let's go! on the dock, you're just surrounded by water. Um, Alright, Chicken you... Like, stand on a dock, you can't find water. Uh, I can so yeah, we force the suit on him. Uh huh. You you and force then... the suit on him. He doesn't resist. And uh... God, I want to tie him up so he can't take it off. Yeah. Sure. You you stitch him into the suit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Perfect. The suggests just putting a gag in him just in case he tries to make a noise if we bring him in to, as our token okay. display. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I mean, yeah, and we're gonna just leave him in the alley. I think. Right. No, I mean we can if we can take him into the arena because if we go in, they might ask why we're there and haven't got an animal to present. So this I mean, sure. if they're betting on the fights, they got a lot of their betters in. Yes, but we also have something else to bet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are we bringing him with us then? I was I was thinking to leave him here so the guards would find him and stuff and you know they would think that he's the zombie wolf man or whatever. We could. Yeah. Anyway. But it's a, it, whatever you guys want. I don't really. So it seems like a horrible way to go is, uh, as as um, Mr. Oiled Man does horrible things to him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you taking him or leaving him? Yeah. Which are we doing? <laughs> Just leave him. Okay, we leave him. All right. All tied up and in a weird dog <laughs> taxidermy yep. suit. And you guys head down <laughs> under the sea. Where I'm is... probably just in breaches now. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't have the rest of your gear with you. Just, You're just just, just stay <laughs> stay back. Stay in the back. <laughs> um... Yeah, just stay in the back. I'm looking for this track. Don't worry, I totally won't use you as cover. Yeah, you will. Oh, use you oh. as cover. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I'm pretty sure you oh. just use Doreen as cover. Yeah, exactly. Uh... You're you're a much squishier target than Doreen. I'd rather be behind Doreen. <laughs> Which just how it goes. Tracks <laughs> were organized by an alphabetical order. There we go. Doreen's slightly taller. Not Doreen, sorry. Uh, Me, uh, Kyla. <laughs> Kyla is slightly taller. Yeah. All right. Like three inches taller or something. Then. I just need to be careful I don't touch you with my left hand because otherwise I'll let you. You still okay, have it going? Does it still <laughs> what? <laughs> it, it, it lasts until I just spell it or it goes off. <laughs> you just Perfect. got like... All right, well, just touch the first b bad guy you see when you when, when the shit goes down. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you guys climb down the ladder, mm -hmm. open the hatch, and pop down into this sort of very dimly lit stone passageway. These stones look like they've been brought here because they're they're very clearly carved and set in place with mortar and everything. Um, mm -hmm. And the, the passageway runs forward about 100, 200 feet or so, just kind of like off into the darkness. Uh, all four of you, five of you, are here. Mm -hmm. Four? Four. Four. We left. Four. Okay, right, we left. Right. He's left. He's definitely left, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, um, it only goes one way, right? It's a single path, yeah. Okay. Well, I can see in the dark. Dim, dim. I can see in the dim. Mm -hmm. We'll call it. Mm -hmm. And Doreen, do you want to lead the way, or I can? Oh, yeah. But okay. I'm All going right. to strategically hide in the middle because it's always the back and the front that get killed first. 
Okay. So it'll be Doreen, then me, I guess, then. Sylvestrius and Torque. Does that sound oh, okay to you? Okay, cool. Cool. Doreen, okay. Kyla, Sylvestrius, Torque. Okay. And we head, we, we head on down the tunnel. Down the you tunnel. head down the tunnel. It goes, <laughs> as I said, 100, 200 feet until you come to a large wooden door banded with metal. Um, there is no lock on it, but there is like a little slidey, windowy thingy. Um, and here you stand in this stone hallway underwater before the door. I look at everyone and shrug. <laughs> Sure. Uh, Kyla, hand me a gold. Here. <laughs> I hand him a gold or a gold piece. Um. Wow. Can, will they be able to see me from their little slidey eye hole? Because I'm short. I mean, if you press against the door, they might not. But if you're standing back, they'd see you. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna stand back, knock against the door. The hatch slides open. Uh, you can hear some sounds from within that sound fairly boisterous and raucous in there. Uh, I'll, like, I'll like you, Steve's can't just kind of like say like, oh, we're here for the party. We're here to bet. And I just show him the gold coin. Yep, <laughs> the, the thing slides shut and there's a, a latching sound. The door opens and, oops, that's a little loud maybe. <laughs> Way too loud. Uh, there we go. That's still a little up. And you guys find yourself in a, like a bar, or tavern sort of area. There, it's, it's got like a, it's a flat room, except it dips down into the middle where there looks like there's a small arena, maybe 15 feet across, or 15 feet long, 10 feet wide, kind of elliptical in shape. Uh, and that is, that's depressed down to the ground, and then there's sort of like seating above it, sort of like an arena seating, kind of looking down onto this, this thing below. And then on the very, you know, the, the toppest area where it's flatter, or it's um, at your level, uh, there are a couple of gambling tables, there's some poker going on, there's some other games going on, um, and over against the, the wall just to your left, uh, there's clearly like a little area set up where you can go and place bets with things. And on the area on your right, there are kennels built into the walls. They kind of go all the way down the right side of the wall. Um, and then kind of across the wall opposite of you guys, because it's a square room or a rectangular room, really. Does, does it look like we're free to go look at the dogs? Yes. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Is there a gnome yeah. anywhere? Uh, give me a perception check. As you should scan the room for a gnome. Only the one that's looking for a gnome should look. Okay, I'm yeah. immediately going over to look for snuffles in the cages. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and draw us this room for some understanding. Ooh, that's way too zoomed in. Perfect. So you guys came in through this door on the top. Okay. Actually, I'm going to bring you in through the bottom so it'll make the directions I gave earlier make more sense. Okay. Uh, let's see, it's about 15 by 10 ish. That's in the middle. We've got all sorts of kennels sort of lined up over here. Uh, it's just like, you know, kennels like this. You get the picture. These drawings don't have to be pretty. There's the booth over here where you uh, make your bets. There is seating around this thing. Uh, 
Oh, okay. This is a terrible way of doing it. Uh... <laughs> yeah, sort of seating like this. Panels actually do continue over on this side. <laughs> With like that. Come on. Draw. Draw, 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 draw. Uh, and then we also have a bar over here where alcohol is being served. Perfect. Like that, and then we've got some small tables against the walls where people are gambling. And there's a table over here. There's a table over here, uh, and then some small tables for just like sitting and eating or uh, observing when you're not doing other things. So, a bunch of stuff going on. Is that any questions about the this layout? Hmm. Of course, you can always ask them later, but. Excuse me. They bring very much paint. Which ah, is that is the the room where you uh, make and place your bets. Okay. Hmm. I would just be looking for um, Zenome. Yes. Zenome. And your perception check was a 21. <laughs> right, good. You will find the gnome. It's going to take you a little while. Since it's a, just barely a pass, but you will definitely spot him in a minute. Uh, in the meantime, Doreen, you said you are looking along the side for, mm -hmm. um, yeah. for Snuffles. And I want to stand somewhere near-ish to the door that doesn't, like, you know, impede people or look like I'm ready to do something. Like, you mm -hmm. know, just somewhere that's looking around at stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, Connor? Um, I'd probably, I'm just sticking with Kyla. Okay. Just like, so, I'm really Dork and Kyla edge. are hanging out by the door, scoping the place out. Doreen is looking for Snuffles, and Matt is looking for uh, the gnome. Sure enough, Matt, you, you find her. Uh, she is hanging out over by the bar, but kind of like behind the bar. You know, the bartender is walking up and back along this area, but the, the gnome in question is in a little corner back here, and you kind of notice that uh, there's a, a door as well, um, like this, like right here. So the gnome is hanging out by the door, watching the patrons and uh, talking probably to the bartender, but you know, from your distance and everything with all the noise, it's hard to tell. This is my gnome matches the description given by the captain. I mean, the description was, it, it's a gnome. That's about it. Didn't they say something yeah. about their chin and stuff like that as well? And... He mentioned that it was the only gnome, I think. I don't remember saying anything about a chin, but that doesn't mean it wasn't described as such. So yes, <laughs> yeah. it matches the description if you got one. And it's the only gnome in the tavern. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, Doreen, you find Snuffles. Snuffles is in a pen with eight other puppies, and they are all playing and frolicking happily together. They've got some chew toys in there. They've got a whole bowl, like a, a dish filled with peanut butter and a dish filled with water, and they're just kind of like covered in peanut butter playing with each other. She looks very happy, or he looks very happy. Good. Good. Um, I'll mark Snuffles' pen for you. Thank you. It's the one now, with the S. I'm, I'm going to look around mm -hmm. to see the caliber of people in this place. Are yeah, I was going to say that. Nobles? Are there just rich merchants? Is it like kind of a lower life place? There are two types of people here. Uh, and that's very distinct and very obvious. You've got your sort of like your type of people, the warriors and adventurers with that sort of like hardened, determined, I've seen some shit sort of look. 
Um, and then you've got the more sort of wealthy people who are like having a good time and playing games and stuff. It it looks kind of like you've got the the people who bring dogs to fight and then the people who bet on the fights. And right, people who bring animals are also fighting, but those tend to probably be the the rougher, tougher folks. Not to say that the the wealthy ne'er ne'er to do ne'er ne'er to do ne'er do wells ne'er Thank you. Uh, don't also bring their creatures, but you've got your your you know your two groups of society that interact in this one location. Okay. <sighs> well, mm. how sturdy thinking. does this cage look? By the way, is it just like? made so like some a dog couldn't get out or is it like jail cell quality yeah like is it even locked uh they are locked definitely and you Mm -hmm. notice that there are some of these tougher looking people are keeping close eyes on the pens uh there's definitely security forces here that are keeping an eye making sure no one's like slipping the dogs anything or trying to injure them remotely or anything casting any spells like that so there's careful eyes everywhere the quality of the pens is not great uh they're made out of wood or at least the the bars are you you get the impression you could probably break through them with ease okay um but there are like there's definitely people watching all right if you know this looks like it would be a very difficult altercation and there's enough wealthy people around that i don't want to just start literally murdering everyone in the place yeah although it would make me a lot of money (laughs) make you a lot of hands yes yes it would now that's the best oh god there's so many hands neil they're everywhere. Right. Anyway. Sylvester's? Oh, okay. Now that Sylvester, oh, sorry. Now Sylvester's located the no. He'll look around to see if he can locate the uh, escaping one, the taller man. No, the taller man's nowhere to be found. Thank you. He will keep, <laughs> keep track of the gnome's location. Because if the gnome is a spellcaster, then spellcasters can be a problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> any other questions any other assessments I am just going to go and start looking for the gnome as well okay. uh, give me a perception check oh no you're actually going to need to roll better than anyone else in this because you're so short you're going to have trouble seeing over the bar to see the gnome oh that's enough Okay. you, you find the gnome Okay. I'm going to attempt to beckon him towards me. Oh. Or her. Um, the gnome is a female. If I didn't no. already give it a gender or sex before. Yeah, she was a female. Okay, perfect. Uh, the gnome sees you and waddles over to you, kind of walks literally just underneath the bar because there's that area where you can lift open the bar to go through, but the gnome's short enough, it just walks underneath it. Hello! Hello. I understand you are the person who makes these dogs fight. Correct? I am the owner of this establishment, yes? Ah, good. My dog was taken. Taken? Yes. They are over in that cage. Yeah, and I've been watching Doreen, so I'm just kind of watching this for now. Mm. Well, you see, we don't just take dogs. There, there's, of course, just volunteered creatures. Uh, I, there must be some mistake. It, I know my dog. Unfortunately, all the snuffles. Show me to your snuffles. Let us see. Oh, I'll go over. Bring her over to snuffles. Okay. Uh, You'll show her to snuffles, and she'll look at her and go, hmm, hmm. You see, this dog has great potential. the The puppy league is one of our most favorite leagues. Seeing very small, innocent animals rip each other to shreds is. It brings attention. Hmm. 
Uh, how much for Snuffles? Name your price. There is no price. Come on, I everyone's got like a price. I would just like my dog return to me. I'll tell you what, you get us another puppy, we'll give you Snuffles back. No questions asked. Otherwise, mm. and the gnome looks around at some of the bodyguards nearby, uh, making eye contact with them, you know, letting them know that they should be paying attention. Otherwise, we're going to have some problems. Mm. Mm -hmm. What time of day is it? Yeah. Let's see, we started in the morning. Probably spent an hour doing that. Probably spent two or three hours doing that. Half an hour doing this. Uh, let's call it like five hours after ten, so around three. Alright. I might be able to find a puppy, huh? Hmm. Uh, now, while you when, think, while, while you think, let's flip over. Is the, when is Snuffles scheduled to fight, if they are? Fight starting about 15 minutes. Uh, flips the schedule. Uh, we have Adult League, then Puppy League, and Adult, and Puppy, and Adult. And we just kind of, we rotate back and forth. As I said, puppies are very popular. Uh, mm -hmm. they're, they're so adorable. You know, for a while. Uh, so, a couple hours? Alright. Going to go try to find a puppy, then. Alright. You leave to go find a puppy. Uh, meanwhile, Quantum Mac, what are you doing? So, I'm, I'm still scoping this place out with Kyla. I'm pretty sure I saw the gnome, but, you know, gnome's, like, on the other side of the bar. It's just, like... So, you're safe for now. I'm safe for now. Like, it, I'm on edge. But I'm not, like, freaking out. Yeah, I think you're probably, like, keeping eyes on the gnome at all time. Yeah. Like, tracking its uh, movements. Not, not the whole time, but definitely, like, most of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, so, at some point, I'll, like, you know, Kyla, Kyla, how quickly do you think you can kill the gnome? Mm -hmm. I, like, look around the room at all the bodyguards. <laughs> <laughs> if we got you a a muscle distraction, um, that depends on his level. <laughs> but I mean, something distracting enough, probably pretty quickly, as long as I have range on him and not end up in melee. <laughs> okay. Here's what but, I'm thinking. Like, don't forget we're here for the puppy, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're here for the puppy, but why stop with one puppy? Mm, I see I see what you're they're just, saying. They're just, little, they're just little pups. They, they're literally brought in here and forced to fight. Like, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not going to stand for that. We've, okay. we've, we've still got, like, a freaking werewolf zombie man, like, out, just, like, right outside the door or something, right? He's, like, up the hatch. Up the hatch. Mm -hmm. right. So what we can do is like we can bring him down here, like maybe not in here, but down here, and we can go find Mr. Musclehead and start screaming about how that guy we didn't kidnap him. We were trying to save him because he turned into one of those things. We can tell. We can say he was bitten and transformed, and then ran down here. Yeah. And then, no, no, he had been bitten, and we're yeah. trying to like take him, like take him back to the person who caused this whole ruckus in the first place. Trying to get more fighters for their ring. Sure, we can try. Yeah. And I'll bring like Sylvester in on this because I ain't going towards Doreen yet because she's near the gnome. Unfortunately, I'm over near the gnome as well. So oh, you're over there. Oh, screw that. You guys don't know the plan yet. I'll probably mm -hmm. wait for you guys to come over. Yeah, when Doreen starts to walk away, I think we follow her anyway, so... Sylvester's like... will be marking the gnome and just trying to sort of hide his quite pale 
body. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, Doreen, you are looking for Puppy. I will all pass them, obviously, on the way out. They've just been hanging near the door. Right. So, I'll huddle together with, like, you know, Kyla. Mm hmm. Sure. And just uh, say, now see, they have offered for me to get back Snuffles if I can find a puppy to replace him. Mm -hmm. What if we just bust all the puppies out? We could do that, but we would have a very large fight on our hands. What if we had backup? What sort of backup? What if we got... Mr. Musclehead and those who's hiring all those people from shenanigans so he's already paying for them and we we gotta convince him that the dude we dressed up in the dog costume came from here like this is the source of all those zombie werewolves <laughs> and a dog fighting ring mm, they might try to kill all the dogs if they think they're werewolves. How high is the ceiling, Neil? Uh, from the area where you're standing on the level ground at the top, uh, it's about eight feet, but the dog fighting pit itself goes maybe five or feet down below, so maybe even more than that, so like 15 feet, I would suppose, mm. from the base of the, the pit to the ceiling, about eight from where you are. Okay. So, I say, if we're planning on fighting these guys, there's two ways to go about it. We assume the civilians don't get involved, and hopefully the dogs aren't, like, called upon us, and we hopefully can take out the guards. Well, or... I mean, we need to take the gnome out first, because he's the one who makes the dogs fight. Or... Web. Oh. Hmm. Explain to me the concept of this web. Creates yeah, a large sticky web. Okay. So you can web up, try to web up just the guards and the gnome, or as many as you can? Just a huge amount of people would get webbed. When you say huge, like, would this whole room be webbed? No, it is eight. These are like. 10 foot cubes, Neil? Or 5 foot uh, cubes? Yeah. 5, five foot. foot cubes? Yeah. Okay, so the approximate area. Mm. Oh god, why am I drawing in pink? Oh wait, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why are you? <laughs> Alright. I need to just delete this. <laughs> anyway. All right, so like, why am I not using shape? So the approximate area I could encompass is that. Hmm, it's pretty good. Yep. How many guards, yeah. and the, including the gnome, how many guards could we get with that? So let's see, let's talk guards. Yeah. Um, you've got the the door guard. Right. He's a big one. Uh, you've got two guards by the bedding area, just to make sure no one starts any shit. Um, let's see, you've got a guard over in this corner, keep an eye on the dogs, one over in this corner, and then there's probably like a few at some tables or standing nearby tables to keep an eye on the various bits of gambling. So I think we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, there's probably one over here too. Probably around eight obvious um, employees who are guards and then like some other well-armed and well-dressed adventurers about here. Out. Doreen? Could wipe out three, and then, well, two in the gnome, possibly. Hmm. 
or if we wanted to not have it just a large area and have a higher chance of them getting out, we could probably stretch that to a couple more, but not likely. Hmm. hmm. That's a lot of... That's a lot of... swords. Yep. Hmm. Well... Maybe we'll get lucky, and the adventurers, their only stake in this is their own money that their own money that they've bet. Maybe if we get lucky and, sh and we can convince uh, Mr. Musclehead, um, they be like, "Ooh, my money isn't worth going to jail." So maybe we can not have to worry about them, but it all depends on how Mr. Muscle reacts to this. If we actually had right back up like that i would be a lot more confident about this now my major question is is this whole setup legal <laughs> well, is this dog fighting ring legal right i mean they're hiding it right so i mean it's also underwater with a magic spell cast yeah. on the water yeah could you just and i know that? a lot of people are pretty pretty antsy about just casting magic on the town mm -hmm. it's dangerous stuff it's dangerous stuff we have to spin uh, this in a way and, where they you don't know what they probably on. they probably aren't paying taxes on this Ooh, that's true that would be that would be where like it's definitely illegal if they're not doing taxes mm. you know how the government is about taxes Mostly, okay. they're screwing the king out of his money, and that's that's really the big problem. Well, yeah, I mean, bring that to the mayor, who's like, "Oh crap, I'm screwing the lord out." Bring that up to the lord. Oh crap, I'm screwing the king out. Bring that up to the king. Hey, they're screwing me out of my money. Let's go. Uh, let's go depose some nobles. All right. So, are we going to try to convince Mister Muscle? All right. Either I think that we're getting my dog out. Yeah. We are getting as many dogs out as possible and going in loud taking this area or we are trying to get help in taking this place. Mm -hmm. So we're getting snuffles. That's that's for me that for I, I think that's kind of the biggest thing here is to get snuffles mm -hmm. along with whatever other dogs we can. Uh, I don't know how we're going to bring them up a ladder, but... <sighs> um... Ooh, wait. If we kill the gnome, doesn't all the spells that the gnome cast go away? I don't know. How does that work, magic lady? Magic man? How does that work? Unfortunately, the spellcaster, which is me, isn't with you currently. Uh, but you could be. I mean, what are you doing right now? You've been, they've been talking for a while. It's reasonable that you could yeah, have headed all, back. We've all kind of grouped up now. Mm -hmm. like, so I don't know what you'd be doing. The, at the moment, I'm, so Sylvester's so trying to keep himself separate from the group because obviously if anything does go off, if he's separate from the group, it means he won't get attacked. But it might mean right. he accidentally touched a gnome with his left hand and bad things happen when that happens. Hmm. I don't touch the gnome. Are you going to go get another puppy? I mean, how common is it to see someone trying to get rid of puppies? I mean, you guys found one last time without too much problem, right? Right. You but could, you could probably we... find a, a puppy for sale in the next three hours. If you can... If you can pass a charisma check, you can do it easy. I could possibly pass. I've got good charisma. No, we're not taking that option. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, it could just be a distraction, too, but yeah. What are you guys going to um, do? Well, I say, first of all, we well, we've only get a few out of this until yeah. the shenanigans people show up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I say we at least get out of here and decide what we're doing with the wolf guy. Yeah, actually, you know what? 
it's been a while. You know, the whole like sewing that other guy up in the suit and everything, it, it that took a, quite a bit of time. By now, those people should be here. In fact, they should have been here a while ago. I mean, they wouldn't they, have. They yeah. probably don't know where to go. We didn't that, tell them where to go. That's true. Mm. Well, no, we did tell the, um, we did make, like, when we were trying to get the sheriff to go away, they did mention the hideout and dog arena, the Eagle Dog Arena. Anyway, um, tell you what, how about the plan is we go up, try to find a puppy real quick within an hour if we can't find one within an hour or hopefully we do find one within an hour come back get the owner next to me as we're exchanging uh mm -hmm. the puppies and i take the owner out okay as that exchange is going down and then i can web an area to start the fight sure fine that's fine with me yeah. But if we run into the shenanigans, people, maybe we can get them on board. Mm -hmm. All right, All right. Let's, um, let's go up. <laughs> the whole party is going up? I mean, I look over at Sylvestrius to see if he's following. Are you going to go up with him, Sylvestrius? Uh, Sylvestrius will... Let's roll. Shall I roll to see if he notices them leaving? Sure. <laughs> you definitely yeah. do. Uh... Seeing as he probably doesn't want to be abandoned, seeing as he's only in breaches, uh, he'll sculpt his way back towards the party. Okay. All right. The party exits. Uh, you leave the the wonderful taverny bar area. You head back down through uh, through the water. Uh, get to the hatch climb up it and head back into the docks district so is the guy gone is he not laying in the alley anymore the guy is not laying in the alleyway anymore there's not a puddle of blood or anything is there there's not no okay all right so i look don't at see, like a large group of adventurers or anything nope yeah okay i look Maybe at they puppy I time look at <laughs> Sylvestrius, I'm like, do you want to get your stuff? Might mean a little bit of a hike back. Um, We're going to be walking around town anyway. If when they pass back, and if they do, then yes, uh, I will put some proper clothing. <laughs> you, don't, and you don't have money to buy a puppy anyway. Just go back, get your stuff, meet us here. Okay, and, and I'll work. look around. I'll look for the puppy. Sure. I'll look uh, for a puppy. I think we all just like split up and puppy hunt. All right, give me a charisma check for everybody except for Sylvestrius, who's having to go get his gear. Hmm. Kyla I finds am no puppies. Not helping in this puppy hunt. All right. I, I okay. actively refuse. I am not. Okay. Well, I'll just Third mention reason. that we're not actually giving them a puppy. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, just... Doreen, you find a puppy uh, for sale. Uh, it is a ten copper puppy. Okay. Connor. Yeah. You are not buying puppies. I'm not buying puppies. You I... gotta stretch your legs. Oh, definitely. Right. So I'm I'm looking around to try and find Mr. Muscles. Uh, first place I'm gonna oh. check is this because you find I'm Mr. Muscles. Because here's what I'm sure has happened. He found the dude we put in the suit. Like, that's what I'm assuming happened. Yes, he did. And they have hung him from the town square. Uh, he's in the market, hanging from some uh, recently erected crossbeam, uh, and there are people gathered around looking and pointing at the, the horrible abomination and pelting it with various rotten fruits. Excellent. That works out very well. So I'm going to go in, into one of those useful back alleys. Um, I'm uh, like going to cut myself in a few places, like get just enough so I can get like some blood flow going on and just like put it on some of my armor. Mm -hmm. um, uh, probably like mess up my fur and whatnot, my armor, make it look like I got in a fight, but I did a really bad job of making it look like I got in a fight. Mm -hmm. J just good enough. So, um, but anyway, 
once I'm done with that, I'm uh, going to. Uh, what's Mr. Muscles doing? Because I'm pretty sure he's like in there. Is he like standing up? Uh, he's something? standing nearby, chatting with some guards and some civilians and answering questions. And they're all kind of philosophizing about what this thing could be or where it could have come from. And, you know, probably the 50th person saying, well, have you talked to the Mages Guild nearby? Mr. Muscle's like, yes, we've already dispatched somewhere, someone to see that. It's not an original idea. Please stop coming up with the same ideas everyone else is and repeating so, them to me ad nauseum. I like stagger my way up word to from Mr. Muscle. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh, maybe someone told them to him and he's just managed to remember to keep saying them. Mm. He's, he's, he'd probably get it from like the gnomes. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna like stagger my way up to Mr. Muscle. Mr. Muscle, I found where it came from. The beast? There's this evil gnome hiding below the docks in a secret. Evil gnomes. Evil gnomes. In an yeah, that's so cliche, but it's so it true. It is. But she's hiding underground and underwater. Do you know how evil that is? Like, first she's she's making that stuff. That's like that's like at least tier five evil. But an underground and underwater layer at the same time. My God, the more things you're under, the more evil you are. Exactly. That's this is more than just under a rock, sir. My God. Under a bar, underground, underwater. Mm -hmm. My God. Under a bar, underground, underwater. She's under she's a got... dock too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's under four things. It is under four things. And she's keeping it open with magic. Well, that's not inherently evil. But it's under things. It's magic. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, things. definitely, yeah. And that's, I, that might I mean, be too much evil for us to handle, though. Really? Don't you think? Maybe. Uh, I, I was down there. She, she had some guards, and she like had everything fighting. And she just like pick up random people off the streets and turn them into those, and a couple of them get loose. I I don't know. I heard from someone down there. They, they seemed like regular people, but they said they started with dogs. But then dogs just weren't interesting enough. That's pretty fucked up, man. It is. All right. They've even got a puppy league that they make fight. So she's literally killing puppies down there. Mr. Muscles gives a half-hearted shrug. I don't know, puppies grow up to be strays. Might as well oh, get sure rid they, of them while they're young. Sure they do, but she's killing puppies under a dock. Uh, you, the, uh, yeah, you got me with the under. You got, definitely got me with that, all right. It's, it's pretty dark down there too. Okay, let me let me see what I can do. Uh, you want to meet me down by the docks? I can do it. I can okay. do that. Uh, Mr. Muscle scrambles off to, you know, sort something out. Uh, Sylvestrius, you grab your gear. Now, you've been walking around with a charged, shocking grasp <laughs> all day. Not all day, but for part of the day. And to not touch something with your primary hand uh, might be a little bit more difficult than we might imagine initially. You know, the, the reaction is to open the door with your hand or to move that person out of your with the hand or someone's backing into you to put your hand up and stop them. So I want you to make me a, some sort of check. What sort of a check would be appropriate to, to make sure that you don't accidentally shock somebody? Would well, it be a mixture of A, trying to avoid places with lots of people very tightly clustered and timing mm -hmm. right? So maybe a bit of a perception followed by, I guess, dexterity? Sure. Do you want to average your perception and dexterity and just make one check? Could Does do. That, that sound uh, fair? So my perception is 17, my dex is 13, so 15. 15, all right. That's a good check. Let's see it. There you go. Ooh. 
you manage to carefully avoid all the, the people in the crowded areas and kind of, you know, push them with the other hand around and whatnot. Uh, you get to your clothes, you, you you put them all on, you gear up properly, um, and you, you can make your way back to the tavern as well, the bar. Kyla, you look for puppies for like an hour or so. Yeah, um, we, only, we had an hour limit, so I only, right. yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, before you make your way back to the tavern. And uh, Doreen, you find a puppy that you can pay 10 copper for. And uh, you can also head back to the the, the bar and everything. And okay. the whole party will reconvene at the entryway down to the docks. And we'll find out what Mr. Muscle does uh, and everything on the other side of our break. So we'll see you for our finale in a few moments. Bye-bye.